Training staff who have been promoted. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. You know, many times when you have a frontline cleaner that's been promoted to a position of, let's say, maybe customer service, a lead person, a team lead, or a supervisor, we have to make sure that we give them the proper training. In many cases, what happens is that uh, the cleaners are promoted and they're not given the proper training that they need to build their skills in that new position. And in many times, what will happen is that I've seen many times where it's a, a, a cleaner being promoted into a supervisor position and they just don't have the skills to be in that position yet. So they were promoted too early. Uh, so it's very important that you really groom your people uh, when you're getting ready to promote them or thinking about promoting them. Something that I often would do is I'd, I'd always have a conversation with the person. And first of all, just to make sure that they're interested in being promoted. And, you know, because sometimes when you promote somebody, uh, you know, it kind of goes to their head. And, uh, you know, here now they think they got all a bunch of power and they're going to, you know, use that power against the... Uh, you know, against the fellow, uh, the fellow workers. Uh, that's happened in the past. Uh, so, you know, it's uh, very important that uh, when making your selection to promote uh, a cleaner is to, first of all, make sure that they're ready for that promotion. Um, and like I say, you can groom the person. So, you know, start training them early. Uh, after you've had that conversation with them as to, okay, are they ready pr to be promoted? Are they willing to be promoted? Do they want the position? Once you establish that they do, well, now you can start putting a plan together to groom them and make a transition into the new position. That's the other issue is that many times when people promote somebody, they m make the promotion and, you know, within a week's time or sooner, here they are, they're in the new position. So it's always a good idea to make a transition and have a plan. Uh, so what you do with that plan is you would actually uh, have a, a, maybe a deeper discussion on different areas of the new position, what the, the, what the uh, responsibilities are, and to find out what kind of knowledge the person has uh, in those areas. Because then once you find that they're lacking some knowledge in certain areas, well now you can start grooming them and giving them the knowledge that they need to be the best they can be in that new position. Uh, I found that to be really beneficial, um, you know, and it works very well. So just uh, take the time and make a plan uh, to promote that person and groom them into that position. Like I say, uh, if a person is going to be promoted uh, as a cleaner into a customer service person, well, make sure they get the proper training. Now, I also see that uh, many cleaning companies don't even offer customer service training, which I don't really understand because all of your cleaners and everybody on your staff, uh, but primarily your cleaners, are always in contact with your clients. And you would want them to be able to uh, carry on a conversation or handle any situation that may arise uh, with that client. And, uh, you know, with the customer service training, you can, you can, they can be trained on what to say, what not to say, and so on and so forth. But anyway, that's very, very important. And uh, as usual, you know, you can always find all this training on MyHouseCleaningBiz.com or the janitorialstore.com. Uh, we have all this training uh, already there. So there's really no excuse for anybody to say that they can't give the training or it's not available because it, it actually is. But... Anyway, you have to do that. You have to, uh, you know, put a plan together, groom the person, and help them succeed in their new position. Another thing that I'd probably suggest is that uh, make it real clear to the new uh, to the new person that's been promoted that they're they're going to have to go through a probation period uh, in the new position. You know, so let's say you uh, promoted somebody to a supervisor. Well, let them know that there's a 90-day probation period in in that position. So in whatever reason they can't handle the position or it's just not a good fit, you can pull them out of that position and put them back into their, back into their uh, past, uh, past position. And obviously there would be adjustment in pay and so on and so forth. But that's a conversation you definitely want to have with, with any cleaner, uh, no matter what position you're uh, going to promote them into. So make them uh, understand that there is a probation period and, uh, you know, they would lose any additional uh, 
any additional monies or vacation time or anything like that, they would lose that uh, uh, once they were moved out of that position. So, um, so I think other than that, uh, it's just a matter of training. You have to train people. Um, you know, uh, so many cleaners, uh, cleaning business owners, just tell me that they don't have the time. Uh, you know, and it's it's just unbelievable that if you don't have time to train somebody, then you know why would you want to keep those people around? Uh, there's just no way that they're that they're really representing your business very well, and generally they don't stick around because th there is a lack of training, lack of management, and so on and so forth. But in either case, uh, if you plan on uh, promoting a cleaner, uh, just make sure that you give them the training that they need, support them, and groom them into a successful customer service person, lead person, uh, team leader or supervisor or manager, whatever position it is. But uh, if you do that, uh, you're going to have better success and uh, your entire team will be uh, much happier and, and uh, they'll enjoy working uh, for your business. You have to remember uh, the major reason why people leave a business is not because of pay or benefits or anything else, it's because of management. And if you don't have good management in place, you will start losing people. And uh, that's just something you don't need. You, don't, you do not want a revolving door. You do not want to have high turnover. That costs way too much money for that to occur. So take the time to train people correctly, put people in the right positions, in the right seat on the bus, and you'll be just fine. So, well, hopefully you liked this tip. And if you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And as usual, you know, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then go ahead and subscribe to our uh, uh, channel. Uh, click on the subscribe button. Uh, you'll find hundreds and hundreds of videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. So until then, we'll see you.